Yom HaKippurim, the Day of Coverings. After the fall of mankind, we were introduced to a sacrificial system, karbanot, which means to be close or to be near, implying that when drawing near or close to Yah, it requires not only a sincere heart, but it also requires a covering. What is covering sin? The word kippurim comes from the word kofer, which means to cover something. The first time this word is used in the Bible is when Yahweh commands Noah to make an ark and form to seal it with kofer, obviously to prevent water from coming in, but the fact that it uses this word for atonement, it's almost like it was an ensign for a covering that Noah and his family would be exempted and atoned from the destruction that would come upon mankind and earth. What is covering sin? Many of us have been taught that showing love covers a multitude of sin. This is true. But the question is, what is love? We've been taught that showing love to our brother is simply not judging them, not ridiculing them, and just pushing their sins aside and showing them love. But Proverbs 28.13 tells us otherwise. It says, He that covers his sins shall not prosper, but he that confesses and forsakes them shall have mercy. This tells us that confession is the first but not the only step towards receiving a covering, which is mercy. According to Hebrews chapter 12, why couldn't the blood of bulls and goats remove our sins? Well, sin starts in the consciousness and later manifests in our own actions. This shows us that animal sacrifice placates. It puts a band-aid over the situation and leaves space for us to show our regret in our confession by proving to forsake the sin in our change. The blood of a bull or a goat, which has no moral statue, could ever show a man how to live in the image of Yah as they themselves were not even created in Yahweh's image. But Yahushua, our Messiah, proved not only with his sacrifice of blood, but also being a living sacrifice, how to live in righteousness, and therefore could cover our sins. So how does covering our sins look today? We read earlier in Proverbs that those who confess and forsake will have mercy. But this confession is not just one-on-one to Yahweh, nor is it just to your spiritual leader, but it's also one to another. James chapter 5 says, And the prayer offered in faith will restore the one who is sick, and Yahweh will raise him up. If he has sinned, he will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another, and pray for each other, so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man has great power to prevail. Why is it important to confess one to another? The story of Achan is an excellent example. Achan confessed not only to Joshua for stealing the plunder, but he confessed to the whole house of Israel, and they all judged him through stoning. Open confession is important so that one may be ashamed to further encourage repentance with humility, to create an open example so that others don't sin seeing the consequences, and on certain occasions it creates a division that others aren't held responsible for the sin of another. The fall to spring feast all equates to a sequenced plan of salvation. Yom Kippur leads into Sukkot, which is about being covered in his cloud, his fire, which is synonymous for his Holy Spirit. Yom Kippur also leads into what is called 
the Feast of Ingathering, which is about his 144,000 elect gathering into a city without walls. We also have our spring feast, Pesach or Passover, which is being covered in his name, which is his image, and Shavuot is about being covered underneath his covenant, our marriage contract. The last thing we'll get into today starts with our word kofir. Do you remember what it means? That's right, it means a covering. The root word of kofir comes from the word kfar. This means a village. A village is typically a closed community without walls, the unwalled village. Time is few. Will we confess and forsake that we may be covered under his cloud, which is his spirit, and his blood, which is his image and his name? Will we hold faithful to his covenant that we may be eligible to be covered in his unwalled city, his remnant? I leave with you this question for the day, including myself. Wisdom says a wise man covers his sins before the king's wrath is released. The question is, who will be your covering this season? Will it be Yahweh or the shadow of your own wickedness? Khatima Tova. May you be inscribed in the Book of Life.